Cyanthelium plant is sometimes cultivated as a vegetable in Kenya and is also used in Ayurvedic herbal medicine. Cyanthelium plant is harvested from the wild for local use as a food and medicine. This is a small herb that grows no more than 60 centimeters in height with tubular purple flowers a thick taproot about 3 mm in diameter and a branched network of smaller roots. The plant is thought to be indigenous to Southeast Asia, but is now naturalized in most Southern Pacific archipelagos and elsewhere in the tropics, including Australia and New Zealand, Africa and America. In this video, I will also show you the health benefits of Cyanthelium cinerium. So friends, let's get started. A decoction of the whole plant is employed to promote perspiration in the treatment of fevers. It is seen as a good remedy for bladder spasms and strangury. The juice of the plant is used to treat piles. In India, where it is a very common weed, it has a variety of medicinal uses. The juice of the plant is given to children to cure bedwetting. A decoction made from the plant is given for diarrhea, stomachache, coughs, and colic asthma, and bronchitis. The leaves are eaten as a pot herb. The root is bitter and is used as a diuretic. The seeds are used to treat roundworms and threadworms and are also given for coughs, flatulence, intestinal colic, and chronic skin diseases. The flowers are used to treat conjunctivitis, fever, and rheumatism. The flowers are used to, in treating conjunctivitis. A paste made from the plant is used as a poultice on cuts wounds, and skin diseases. The oil contains vernolic acid. The root is used in treating dropsy and scorpion stings. The juice of the root is used in the treatment of hemorrhoids, diarrhea, and stomach disorders. The plant contains triterpenes and sterols. A poultice of the leaves is applied to the forehead in the treatment of headaches. The seeds and the fatty oil they contain are alterative, antihelmetic, and antidote. They are used as an antidote to poison and in the treatment of leprosy and chronic skin diseases. They are said to be quite effective against round worms and threadworms. They are also given for coughs, flatulence, intestinal colic, and dysuria for leucoderma, psoriasis, and other chronic skin diseases. The seeds are made into a paste with lime juice and used for destroying lice. In some areas, the root is valued as an anthelmintic. A paste of the root is applied externally to boils. Various extracts of the plant are antiviral, anti-cancer, and diuretic. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching this video.